Hello, everyone. My name is Toshio Yoshino, Vice President of Japan Student Service Organization and Superintendent of Tokyo International Exchange Center. Thank you very much today for your participation in this cross cultural seminar held by Tokyo International Exchange Center. By inviting people, experts active on the front line of various sectors in Japan, this cross cultural seminar provides an opportunity to develop a multi many sided understanding about Japan. Usually, this would be held in person. And the residents of the International Exchange Center would be at the, the focus of this event. But due to the pandemic and the restrictions in place, we have been holding it online. Meaning that people outside of the International Exchange Center can also take part. Today is the 54th seminar, and the theme is Japanese craftsmanship. Japanese craftsmanship tends to conjure up images of companies like Toyota, Panasonic, or Nintendo, very well known brands overseas, that represent the high quality and the advanced technology and the level of peace of mind that these provide. However, I think it goes beyond the actual products and technologies themselves and has more become linked into an image of Japan as a country itself. So, Japanese craftsmanship is very well regarded around the world. But originally, a lot of them started as very unique local cultures, which were then mastered. And then, thanks to the effort of their managers, they were widely disseminated around the world. This time, we will be inviting two companies at the front line of Japanese craftsmanship. First of all, Tojiro, a company from Tsubame City in Niigata, making Japanese knives. So, Mr. Ogawa Masato from Tojiro Knife Gallery will be addressing us shortly. Also, from Takaoka City in Toyama Prefecture, we welcome the CEO and representative director, Mr. Katsuji Norsaku of Norsaku, who are making cast metal objects. For the keynote speech as well, we invite Mr. Kazushi Suzuki, National Museum of Nature and Science and formerly head of the Center of History of Japanese Industrial Technology, to address us on Japanese craftsmanship and manufacturing. We'd be delighted if all participants are able to discover new aspects of Japanese craftsmanship and manufacturing and to deepen your understanding of each of these crafts. I do hope that today's session will be fruitful and useful to you all. And I would like to thank you again for participating. Thank you very much.